Uh-oh. Nathan being confronted by Davy over here. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Well, the fact that David's having what looks like a pretty aggressive confrontation with him is a pretty good thing. Any person who will give a stern lecture to Nathan is somewhat all right, at least. Unless he's actually conspiring with him. Like, Nathan, you can't go around drugging random kids and recording them. That's going to reveal our operations. I doubt it's going to be anything like that, though. That'd be stupid. <laughs> you can't be cartoonishly evil. You can't have, like, three cartoonishly evil people. You already have Nathan. You have Nathan's father. Don't you know that I really hope that David can be responsible. You know, that's not fair. We had a little bit of a time skip while riding the bus, but the music is still playing straight forward. Holy shit! Four dollars for gas?! Fuck this town! Get out of here! Uh-uh! Four dollars for gas in 2013?! Actually, you know what? That's actually pretty accurate. What am I talking about? <laughs> gas was pretty high back a couple of years ago. Now it's actually pretty low. Lowest the gas is here is like a dollar eighty-seven. It looks exactly the same. Okay, according to my picture thingy, I can take a picture of the sun and the Wells Diner. So that's exactly what I'm gonna. Uh, I don't want to go that way. Why not? It's just the street where you can get ran over by a car. I just want to take a picture. Nope, I don't want to go there. See? That sign reminds me of so many times I ate here with Chloe and my family. Haha! -ha. Happy. Okay. <laughs> I got a nice little picture. Yay, achievements! See, I didn't get that picture beforehand. Yep. I'm ready to cash my lottery ticket. Glad somebody is. Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. Or would you? Be a millionaire? Hope nobody steals my lottery ticket. Can't wait to be rich. Yep. Stop talking about your lottery ticket and no one will steal it from you, friend. I bet he's seen a lot of changes to Arcadia Bay in his lifetime. No time for chit-chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. You're gonna get mugged, man. Either you're gonna get mugged, or I'm gonna read about you in the paper about you being a millionaire, and I'll actually be pretty amazed. She looks busy and stressed. Welcome to every adult's life. Most of them, at least. Hi. You look... lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. I just got off the school bus, but... I'm sure the regular bus is coming, too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. Yeah, I'm proud of you, Max. You can have normal conversations with just random strangers on the street. I can't do that. They have to be the one leading the conversation. <laughs> if they do that, then yeah, maybe I can hold it, but otherwise, not so much. Hey there, buddy. 
What do you got going on with this? Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Restore the lifeblood of Arcadia Bay. Save our bay and the madman or man-made drought in the bay. Yeah, okay, dude, you repeated bay three times. I know that's the name of the place and your objective, but you can't say it three times in a row on the front cover. That's just irritating to read. Damn it, I'm trying to talk to you. He looks like a photo of the classic Arcadia Bay crusty fisherman. And that means he might be experienced. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. By Neptune's beard. <laughs> okay. You have your own boat? I call her the Bali High. I've kept a hold of her in these lean days. Might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. So wait, is it because they bought the bay that the fish stopped hopping in your boat? Or is it because they bought the bay and then they started capturing a bunch of fishes or fish that they stopped hopping up in your boat? I don't know, you gotta clarify about that. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. <sighs> Do you know them? Do good for my working kind. I know them through their bad deeds. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Yeah, happy fishing out there. I'm sure you're pro enough at fishing that you don't need to worry about making the fish jump into your boat. You just force them into the nets. Oh, hey! Obviously, nobody took my advice. I'm so dirty, face. Hey, you know, if I had dirty RV or a dirty car and someone wrote, Clean me or I'm so dirty, I would probably leave that there <laughs> until it faded away. Then I would clean my car. There's that dirty RV from the other day. Oh. Hey there, little dog. Uh, stop that. Stop. No barking. Hi, buddy. Okay, we're just gonna walk away, I suppose. Well, what if I want to pet it? You know, like, There's look. something creepy about that guy and his dog. What, the fact that he's chilling out under his own RV? He's living a life! Look at that, portable little home and a dog! Right back at ya! Fine, you protect your sleeping... Your master buddy, whatever you want to call him. Hole to another universe. <gasps> What if this really is one? I need to put my hand there and travel to an alternate universe where I have the ability to transfer myself into the future. And then we combine ourselves into one complete individual who can control time completely. That would be interesting. I wonder if they explained that snow. Well, according to their headlines, nope. Snow, well, that's a good start to the story. Weather Service baffled by snow. In a rare admission, the National Weather Service has yet to come up with a conclusive reason for the unusual snowfall that briefly hit Arcadia Bay, Oregon this week. Well, I mean, yeah, I, was just <laughs> I would be pretty confused. What? It's snowing in July! It's October, but oh my god! Newspapers are going to be retro soon. They already are, lady. They've been retro for a long time. Excuse me, sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! <laughs> the snow was pretty odd. It was right in the middle of a warm, sunny day. Oh, global warming bullshit. It's the Northwest. Snow happens. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. <laughs> uh, global warming bullshit. Oh, so you're telling me you don't believe in emissions affecting the air ever at all? Okay, yeah, I got you. 
You mean Rachel Amber? Well, I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? Excuse me. I have to read my horoscope. <laughs> I hope that was sarcastic. Yeah, you can't, you can't say global warming bullshit and I have to read my horoscope quickly afterwards. <laughs> also, look at that 2D sprite over there. Yeah, man, you're totally hanging out. Just chilling around the USA. McFoon. McFlynn? McFlyin? Oh, hey, whoa, lady, whoa. You don't have to stomp, stomp like that down the street. Okay, I thought I saw like a Taco Bell down there. <laughs> I was like, wait a what? I'll talk to that lady in a bit. But I'm coming over here. Try to sneak up on the dog. Come on, dog. You have ears, why can't you hear me doing this? Okay, alright, let's just take the picture. I'm so glad that I can take pictures of things without most of them reacting. I mean, we've had a couple of people go, Oh, you're taking a picture? I can't believe you're doing that! But that dog, with its dog ears, definitely didn't go, <gasps> Oh no! I pressed control! I'm reversing time before! I don't know where I'm going! Oh, I'm so sorry! Shit. Now I gotta have that conversation with this guy again. Ugh. I... Excuse me. We're gonna skip through, we'll ask him different questions. How long have you lived here? Long enough to know that Arcadia Bay will be a ghost town in a few years. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. This town is more like a mystery to me. You're young. You'll get over it. <laughs> You'll get over the fact that girls are missing and snow happens in the middle of the day. It's all just bullshit, okay? Oh, I gotta take a picture of the dog again. Oh, nope, I'm keeping it. Good. All right, all right. Sometimes you can reverse it. Like, we reversed the image of the selfie earlier, but I guess we didn't technically put that in our inventory, and maybe that's how come it, was still on the, it wasn't on the desk. Poor woman. I hope it's a shelter for her. Well, obviously not, but at least she's got a couple of food pieces. I mean, a few pieces of hot dog and a donut? If I was a homeless person, that sounds like a big luxury. Good job, two whales. Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. Oh, really? Why don't you tell me about Arcadia Bay or the Prescott family? Aha! No, Prescott family sounds dirty for now. Yeah, and by that I mean they're bad influences on the town, obviously. So, we'll save the bad for last. How long have you the lived here? The worst for last. Day? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. What happened to you? What didn't happen to me? Sometimes you start out in life turned around the wrong way. I married dumb. Made mistakes, got cheated out of my savings, lost my home, and now I hang out here. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. Aw, well at least you feel some kind of loyalty to your town. I would never feel that for the place I live. Ever. <laughs> I mean, it's not exactly a small town, but it's definitely not a place I'm like, Oh man, I'm gonna be here forever. No, uh, no, no, no. As soon as I can, out of here. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. How's a daughter your age who's always in trouble? Married to a real prick. Ooh, tell me about this real prick. His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once, asshole. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. I agree. Oh, come on, I want to reverse time and ask you about Chloe. Ugh. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. 
They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead, like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a press card. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Almost. I have to go now. Goodbye. Yes, farewell, homeless lady. Hopefully, things will work out for you in the future. And if they don't, at least the two whales diner will feed you. Ah, uh, it would be nice if you could, re I mean, I could always reverse the conversation and go through it just picking opposite options like Chloe, all that stuff. But the fact that I do have to go all the way back to the beginning of it is kind of a meh option for me. I would like to be able to reverse while I'm in the middle of the conversation itself. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware oh, makes me feel 13 again. Ooh, hey, poster. Good lord. Talk about apocalyptic. Welcome to Pan Estates. Prescott Development invites you to live within the woods. Ew. Affordable luxury homes, forest, ocean, and lighthouse views. Coming soon to change the way you live. Ugh. I would never live close to a woods or forest or anything like that. It's just spooky. Oh, hey! Justin! Bro. Justin is such a mellow dude. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am taking photos. I am always taking photos. I am a camera. You cracked me up, Maxter. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School? Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. Well, he takes it cool, but he is high, so he's got that going for him. Trevor looks as happy as Dana did. But he's not hopping around. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. Well, it's good you're still friends with him. Most people I know, they'd hook up with the, their friend's crush and they'd be like, you son of a bitch. I was never like that. I had more than a couple of friends who hooked up with people I had crushes on. But I was like, yeah, yeah, you go for it, bro. These fishermen are so damn quiet. It's not like he has a conversation partner. <laughs> I mean, what is he gonna do, talk to himself? You probably shouldn't talk to yourself in the public, but in private, hey, I endorse that. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. How are you gonna pay over your eggs over your big ones today, bud? Still mourning. Thank you. Well, maybe you should eat your damn food. <laughs> Letting it get cold's a waste of time. I always wonder what people think about when I eat alone. Oh, let's ask her. Hello there to you. Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? Maybe I don't want to know what people think when they're alone, eh? <laughs> Yeah, hello again. Back to breakfast, eh? I'm still eating the breakfast. What the hell did I just say? I'm still eating the breakfast. <laughs> it's my favorite part of the meal. Oh, man. I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. Uh, I hope not. Surely that doesn't meet kind of like a health standards thing. You just change the gumballs. I'm sure that doesn't cost that much. <laughs> you pay like 10 bucks to get some gum delivered. This guy has serious corners. Join the Custodius. Wait, I don't know how to read this. Custodius? Custodius? All day sea adventure. Now charter the legendary seaman for your own ocean voyage, Jack Custodio, and his undersea worlds. You've seen him on TV, read about him in the news. 
The local captain, fisherman, and expert marine with 30 years experience will take your group on a three hour tour of Arcadia Bay's lush and exotic kingdom. An exotic aquatic kingdom. Jack will not only explain the importance of marine life to the ecosystem, he will even help you catch and prepare your own fish from the seas. Daily and weekly excursion rates, $75 to $125. Oh, that's not that bad. Hopefully he actually provides a good show for $75 to $125, bucks, but uh, I haven't actually experienced that many things in life to be able to evaluate things by monetary value. The poster doesn't mention whacked students with guns. I can't. That stuff is hidden information. Global excellence in arts and science for over 100 years and counting. What about the math? Free campus tours every third Saturday. What if I'm here on like the first Saturday though? That sucks. Kate Marsh, love you long time. Oh, nope, erase, 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 erase. I'm erasing with my face. Why can't I get rid of this? Oh, it's permanent marker. Okay, then I just pull out my own permanent marker. Someone's got to have one around here. I mean, look how many people arrive with that stuff. Gross. Rachel A owes me a BJ. So does your mom. Heart. Flush before pissing on the floor. I aim to misbehave. That looks like a cue. I quim to misbehave. That graffiti has been here forever. Arcadia gay sucks deck. <laughs> what about if it says Arcadia sucks gay deck? Thank you, redneck poet. <laughs> hey, it's my spirit animal doe. What are you pointing to me or what are you pointing me at, girl? Fire walk with me. Fire with walk me. Fire me with walk. It's probably just fire walk with me. Who would take the effort to scratch that out? Oh, gosh. I would be so irritated at myself if, like, I was scratching something out for a message. Just the sound of, like, scritch scratch is just bleh. Why would you do that to yourself? You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. Is this town really all that weird? I mean, minus your time travel powers and the snow thing and the other stuff, actually, life seems pretty standard. I would buy a shirt, but... They're so damn tourist. <sighs> Max! Max, 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 Max. You are a chick who finds value in many things, but not tourist shirts? Come on. You owe it to Joyce and everybody else to have a nice shirt about burgers. Ew, that guy looks unpleasant. Uh, I don't think I spoke to this guy before. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. Okay, I'm glad you told me all that information. Leave me alone, or I will vomit on you. Jeez, fine. Officer, that guy threatened me with vomit! Projectile vomiting! That officer looks nicer than wannabe cop David Madsen. Well, that's because most police officer uniforms always look really nice, actually. You know, sometimes I've thought about trying to become an officer. But I'm also okay with just playing video games. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. I would love to talk to people like this. Uh, hello, young lady. What do you think you are doing here? Are you smoking the weeds? Or the marijuanas? You shouldn't do that. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now, that is a real problem at the uh, Two Wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese? Uh, hey, why don't you tell me a bunch of information about this family? How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our... our mother. Aw, that's nice. I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? Uh, just curious. He has a reputation. Uh, I'll do this one. Just curious. I'm surprised he's not a police officer in Arcadia Bay. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> not everybody can be a cop. Okay, well, what about Chloe? 
So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard that Chloe even had a pot dealer in her room. <clears throat> oh, that's not good. No big thing. <laughs> I have to go. No, we're just gonna say that's not good. Uh, that's not good. Anyway, hmm, that bacon sure smells good. Is she a friend of yours? Not really. Yeah, I know her. I know her. Then you know she's a handful. She can be, but she can also be a good friend who shows up when you need her. Sounds like you're a good friend. I wish she would be a great daughter and not cause Joy so much stress. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. No, you don't. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. That dude outside his name is Frank? That looks exactly like what a Frank would be like. Just a dude chilling out with a dog and an RV. Hey, Frank! Unless your name is Franklin, then you just... <laughs> I said it before and I say it again. Franklin sounds like a really dorky name. Franklin! I mean, it's not my own, it's not my fault that there's a TV show with, like, a young turtle kid named Franklin. <laughs> Coming up at noon, K-Bay 7 News will explore the mystery of yesterday's unusual snowfall on a warm and sunny late afternoon that confused and delighted Arcadia Bay residents. We'll be talking with Portland meteorologists in the area and look at some of your fun video reactions to the odd snow flurry. Who knows? Maybe Mother Nature was pranking us all. So, stay tuned to K-Bay 7 News for the real story. Huh, K-Bay 7. That's a catchy line. Get welcome to the K-Bay. Yeah! Oh gosh, let me just do something real quick. 